I don't say that I that it was political because I'm not, I suppose, a political animal. I can see that the film was extremely interesting in that sense. Uh, and I wish one could say things had changed enormously, and they obviously have not. Uh, the Tottenham riots of not long ago, uh, for good reason, and there's appalling uh, Grenfell disaster, one can only, there's no word for that. Um, the fact is the country is being run in a very strange manner, as though we have no government whatsoever. And Roland, I know that um, before you um, sort of started uh, in the music industry, you'd already kind of been training in drum, which was kind of something you were already kind of um, working. But this is your first time on screen, wasn't it? Yeah, that was my first film. I'd been in the whole community theatre workshop. Mm. Uh, but yeah, that was my first film. It was damn good. <laughs> and, 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 and can you remember how you felt about, obviously it's a big difference between being on stage and having that kind of audience and then actually having to act in, uh, in front of a camera. Can you remember how you felt about it at the time? Um, well, I'd done pop videos. So I, I got a kind of a sense yeah. of what it was like. But it, yeah, but it was very, um, I mean, it's a much, much bigger outfit, a much, much bigger operation. If you do a pop video, it'd be, mm. you know, a day at the most. But that was, um, I think it was about six weeks to shoot, something like that. Yeah, five or six weeks. So it was, uh, yeah, it was, it, it was very different. And, and from both of your point of view, with a film like this, is it about the kind of the quality of the writing and the part, or is it also equally important to kind of have a sympathy with the sort of the politics or the sort of the um, you know the, 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 the message of the film in a sense? I, I wanted to be in a film that was contemporary and that included all races or whatever we want to call ourselves. I don't know what I am anymore. And um, <laughs> I found that very exciting. Uh, I found acting opposite Shashi Kapoor, obviously, you know, the idea of it was very thrilling. I knew he was a great actor and I'd seen him in Heat and Dust, etc., etc. And indeed, he is, a, he is a great actor, there's no question. So uh, I don't say that I, that it was political because I'm not, I suppose, a political animal. I can see that the film was extremely interesting in that sense. Uh, and I wish one could say things had changed enormously and they obviously have not. Uh, the Tottenham riots of not long ago, uh, for good reason, and there's appalling uh, Grenfell disaster, we, one can only, there's no word for that. Um, the fact is the country is being run in a very strange manner, as though we have no government whatsoever, whereas with Mrs. Thatcher, uh, <laughs> everyone thought she was a great, everyone, not by no means everyone, certainly not me, and probably not a lot of people here, but she was considered the Iron Lady and a great leader she wasn't that either. You know, the country fell into complete uh, anarchy uh, by the end of her regime, is all I can call it. So I think there were a great many things that interested me uh, about the script and, of course, about Stephen Frears. I'd seen my beautiful laundrette, who hadn't. It was wonderful. And as I say again, Shashi and m many things drew me to this project. Can you remember from your point of view, um, Roland, in terms of, as I say, the, sort of the political side, was that, I mean, was, was that important to you, or, or was it more actually the, the, the opportunity to... I just wanted to be in a film. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you! <laughs> and, can, and, and can you remember how you got into the film in terms of, was it something that you kind of put yourself forward for, or did they approach you? Uh, no, I think they'd approach me. I mean, yeah, no, I mean, I'd, one, one thing that was a real thrill for me was that I'd um, seen a lot of Stephen Freer's work. I'd seen various things on TV mostly yeah. over the years and hadn't realised that he had directed all those things. So that, that, was, that was a big thing for me. Um, 
Yeah, and I think that they, um, they did approach me at first, and they seemed pretty keen. And we had a second meeting, and they, they seemed even keener. So I said, oh, and there was a third meeting call. So I said, oh, have I got it then? And I said, oh, no, we're not sure. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and, what, and what was your take on the character? Because obviously, you know, this is the character of Danny sort of Stroh Victoria. It's kind of an interesting, a very interesting character, isn't it? Very complex. Yeah. Um, and do you feel you had a kind of a real take on it before you started? I think um, I was really trying to get inside Hanif's mind because I think it was, you know, it was, mm -hmm. uh, it was all a product of his thinking. But it, um, yeah, it was, it was, to be honest, it was really, there was so much coming at me just, just to be in it that it was, um, you know, I was just doing my best to sort of navigate around and just take the whole experience in. And do either of you um, kind of research the roles you're in in terms of, I mean, like in terms of your, your role as a sort of colonial lady, so to speak, and the relationship she had um, with Rafi? I mean, is that something that you would research, or is that just instinctively as an actor, you just, um, you, 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 go, you go straight for it? Well, there's no research to be done in that sense. There's just a certain amount of thinking. I mean, she wasn't what nobody in this film is what they appear to be, certainly not uh, Rafi. Uh, we never know exactly. He says he wasn't there when these dreadful things happen. Nonetheless, he is in hiding from someone. We don't know exactly who. He has immense amounts of money. We don't know from where, but we assume from a very corrupt source. Um, what was I saying? Oh, that uh, you can't research as you would research a historical character. Uh, but this woman, Alice, is certainly not what she seems. Uh, she had this passionate affair with an Indian in those days. That was a very unusual uh, for that kind of woman. She was a rather free spirit, and she was an extremely embittered woman who nonetheless had a last fling with Kapoor, why not? <laughs> and, uh, uh, but the bitterness was, was there and comes out in the, in the scene in the cellar with the suitcase. It's quite, it's quite a low budget film, certainly by any standards, really. And I, I wonder what, what was. It? Um, yeah, I, I, I believe so. I mean, I think certainly in terms of the way it was originally shot, and um, I, I think they, they originally wanted it to be for sort of a TV, and there wasn't an expectation it would become a feature until later on, if I understand it correctly. No, know, it was so. always a film, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think it was about a million. Just, oh, okay. just a million. And was there the opportunity to rehearse and, and kind of get to the kind of characters right beforehand? Yeah, some, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, there was. The, I mean, I knew that I was. We were gonna, I knew that I was going to be in it a, a good few weeks before we started shooting. So there was plenty of time to and do do that thing. And, and and Stephen, as a director, did you feel? I mean, was he a very kind of hands-on sort of actor's director in that respect? Stephen Frears. Yes. Uh, yes, I think he was. I'd say so. Yeah, very much I so. I mean, what I liked about it was that he, he actually invited us to production meetings as well and said, mm. you, know, you, you know, come in and see, what, see what's happening and see how, uh, how it goes. Oh. And that, that was really... Yes, I, I agree. Uh, very, my, very much an actor's director and very much including you. Um, for example, and you may not even have noticed it, but it is rather good. The first time Alice sees... Uh, Rafi, having not seen him for 20 years, 30 years, whatever. There's a very, very slow opening of the door uh, and she stands there and it was very much uh, orchestrated by Stephen Frears who also said that he'd so admired and so have we all, the films of John Ford and that this happened in some film, I don't know, this slow opening of the door and the slow recognition after all these years. It, it's very effective. I mean, I was looking for it, obviously, because it was a favorite moment of mine, and it may not have been noticed by anybody, but it's there, and he directed it very, very specifically. Uh, he don't know. He's an actor's director, and, which um, is rare. <laughs> well, was Hanif Kreshi um, on set, or was he? Was he was there quite a lot, yes. And, yeah. <laughs> and 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 did, did, did how did he kind of shape what was going on? Because obviously Steve was directing, but sometimes when the writer is on set, they obviously, especially w 
when they had a collaboration like the two of them do, they often kind of want to... There was the one occasion when there was like Stephen in that ear and there was Harry in that ear. That did, that did happen a couple of times, yeah. And, and, and was he rewriting as time went on, or was it was a script that you went in pretty much logged? No, there was there were rewrites as well. There were some pink pages. Yeah. Oh yes. But not you know not a hell of a lot, but you know just not really. Whether there were gags no. or stuff like that. And was there room for you to kind of change any of it in terms of any of the actual sort of um, the actual? Fit? I mean, you, may, you probably wouldn't need to with the Qureshi script, but was there any need for you to kind of change? Or was there any kind of moments where no. um, you went off sort of script, so to speak? No. no, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> and, and, and at the time when the film was released, um, it was quite. A, I think it's fair to say, it was certainly a kind of quite a mixed sort of response to the film, in, in lots of respect. I think probably because it was seen as being a kind of a very left-wing film, and there was a fairly right-wing. Certainly, parts of the media were very right-wing, and, and, and this film, I think, was certainly um, received by certain people as being very much a kind of you know left-wing sort of. Um, one side. How kind of um, um, did you respond to that in terms of w when it when it came out? Um, not really. I mean, you know, people did. Th there were some people who did complain about it as left wing prop propaganda, but you know, uh, it, it, but it holds up really well, and, and, it, and it holds up really well as well. Yes, it? it does. Well, not much has changed. No, <laughs> very very little has changed.